Hey everyone, welcome to episode 74 of Enter the Dungeon. Our heroes last time just barely managed to defeat the giant monster, which I will tell you now is a Zorn. It was a very fierce battle, such fell, but he was able to, you know, hold on with his death saves, and so I gave him a potion. But also their employer, Axel, he dropped to zero, and now let's see if he will be able to hold on long enough for them to be able to get him to the next town. Okay. So this is the way this happens. This thing punches the ground, and Zoe, with her nightly training, is able to perfectly time the horse of when to jump, so that way it's able to go over the shock wave, and when the horse is at the peak of its leap, she swings around her sword again, sending forth another volley of darts, hitting this creature in one of each of its legs, causing it to begin to collapse underneath itself as it falls to the ground. And it does not get back out. <gasps> does it turn a different shade? <laughs> Uh, no, it remains the same color. Oh, dang it. It turns blue and stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> the music becomes Phase even more two. intense. Oh my gosh. Phase 2. That that wasn't even my final form. <laughs> no, as it dies, it reverts back to its true form. Geralt. Oh my no. gosh. <laughs> no, but, okay. So this thing is now on the ground. And so is Alex. A Axel? Yeah, a Axel. <laughs> I think we figured out where his name came from. Yeah, it's not like, you know, those are literally just a letter rearrangement. Anagram and M. <laughs> Chili dogs. <laughs> Medicine check time. Kill me, please! I almost died! <laughs> okay, you're not the one currently making death saves. Okay, true. Yeah, which one of you wants to attempt to save Axel? I bet I have a better medicine. Let's see who has the best medicine. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Whoops, forgot about NPC. Is that a character? Uh, she has a wisdom of plus one, plus two, she has a plus three for, for, no, she has a, yeah. For medicine? Yeah, she has a plus three for medicine. Yeah, we should probably leave that up to her. Yeah. So we heal our, uh, employer. <laughs> okay. So yeah, she just walks up to him, and well, I guess one of you is going to need to roll the medicine check as she begins to, um, I guess, straighten out his limbs and um, close his eyes and uh, drape a black canvas over him. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, he's not dead? He's not dead yet? <laughs> no, it's only been one round, so he hasn't made enough death saves to die yet. Unless he got a nat one and a fail, I guess. No, he's only made one death save. He goes right after he... Zoe, and Zoe just took her action, so maybe he took another one. Oh. I was thinking that I went right after Zoe. That's right, I forgot Axel was before me. But yeah, you guys go ahead. And one of you make a medicine check on her behalf. Not me. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. A D20? Yep. Yes. Plus three. That's looking like a total of 17. So, yeah, she just sort of takes a minute, and um, you actually notice her sort of uh, put her hand over him and mutter something in Elvish. He should be Wait, fine. she's Elvish? <laughs> she's a half elf. <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> Fitch doesn't see race. <laughs> or math. Or math. Well, um, he's alive now, and that's what's important. That's good. Uh, that's should ominous. Should we go collect the, the other members of the caravan? I think they began to run for the hills. 
No, that would, we, that'd be great. We need them to come back. Do either of you know thaumaturgy? Thaumaturgy, like the. the I think the... I do. Hang on, is thaumaturgy a transmutation or an enchantment? I thought it was a. Uh... I think it's a transmutation spell. It's a yes, spell. I know it. I can cast it. Wait, do you have enough alchemical stamina for that? I have seven left, so yes. Um, hang on, where is it? Imitate spell, there it is. It costs double the spell level plus two. Uh, which means it costs two, because <laughs> its spell level is zero. Divide by two. So, yeah. Divide by the spell level. That'd be amazing, please. Costs less. Uh, so yeah, I do that, and I cast Thaumaturgy on who? Myself, because it's yourself. a self spell. I don't yeah, think so it has anyone saying? else. Or range? No, thirty feet. Well, that's for the other effects, your like voice. causing doors to fly you, open. Yeah, it's your voice. So I'm gonna yell. What do you say? Come back! We killed it, and we need to like actually move ourselves as well. Also, we have Axel. We have your boss, so get back here. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Slackers. Yeah, over the course of, like, the next few minutes, they begin to reappear. Like, you get the feeling that they were actually just watching from... Actually, you know, reappear is the wrong word. This is giant, flat-open terrain. You can see them, like, a couple hundred feet away. Were they moving or no? Did um, the shockwave hit them? <laughs> no, you, you get the feeling that they all sort of stopped to watch the battle at, like, the 300-foot mark. Wow. And it didn't even help. We're rooting for you. You told them to leave. <laughs> you told them to leave. <laughs> so well, they should have ignored us. No, we, we told them to leave, assuming that whatever it was that the thing was after would go with them. <laughs> not not in a baiting sense. Not. Like, like we'll hold it off, right? Because we didn't think that, you know, Axel would just... <sighs> Foolish man. But yeah, they're able to man. get back together, and I guess Alex has Axel has. What was it? One d four hours before he regains a hit point. So uh, that sounds correct. Yes. Damage and healing. Yeah, one d four hours. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> And I'm assuming that you guys don't want to stick around for a while, do you? No. We're gonna we're gonna get moving again. And and pray that Axel wasn't the navigator. Oh my gosh. I mean, well, I can be a navigator. It's no. It's an east west road, and you guys were going in the one direction. Like it's basically a highway. Okay. And a man who introduces himself as Philip says that he's the second in command and will be taking over. Well met, Philip. Well, may Axel rest in peace then. He's not <laughs> dead. <laughs> I'm not dead yet! Oh, okay, good, good, good. You're not taking over the caravan that easily. Yep, so yeah, you guys set off again, I guess. And don't forget, Philip, with great caravan comes great responsibility. <laughs> Now, you see, he's going to make the mistake of stopping the caravan at um, the location of where a the last political leader of this country is being kept prisoner at um, Axel's dying request, and then his enemies are going to use that to uh, black ma to um, get him arrested. Then he's going to spend, like, 14 years in prison, during which time he befriends a cleric who helps him escape. See, I feel like you're describing a Spider-Man plot, but I don't know enough about it to understand the reference. That was Count of Monte Cristo. Ah. Except I substituted a caravan for a ship. Well, you didn't keep in mind that I haven't seen Count of Monte Cristo, despite it having some of my favorite musicals uh, numbers. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, they made a slap in... 
the musical out of Count of Monte Cristo. Andres, go ahead and mark that as a uh, reason 473 of why Drew should not try to use slang. I, I think we've exceeded that number, but we haven't been keeping track, thankfully. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I think, I think the word you were looking for is boppin'. The word boppin'. you're looking for is space ranger. <laughs> space ranger. Okay. But yeah, um, you know, after, you know, that was actually in the early, mo in the morning that the earthquake happened and the monster popped up. Did you guys want to try to take anything from its body? A Please, long the rest. Gems. The gems. Oh, the giant emeralds? Do you, do you, you want to try to take them out? Yes. Yeah, you know what, you could actually use your masonry skills for this. Um, yes! Finally a use for them! <laughs> You okay. used them plenty of times. Shush! <laughs> so we'll say that you can use, like a... So yeah, if you want, we can say that you can roll plus strength and proficiency to try to pry it out using a um I guess a pry bar of some sort. Using your masonry understanding of where to do it. I like these rolls. Uh how wait, I've rolled twice, right? Uh not well, is will Earth Mover help him? Oh, because he has proficiency with the tool, does he also have proficiency with the skill? This isn't exactly, this isn't an exact skill, it's more like he's taking the, um, masonry tool skill check. Okay. Um, sure, why not? I'll help. Yay, that means one of them is in that 20. <laughs> oh, nice. So yeah, with that you're able to, um, pry out one of these, um, like, foot-long emeralds, but when you do, you realize that it's not real emerald. What is this? You realize that it's, I feel so It feels like it's some sort of like a sediment, but it's almost like a lot more natural. Like this thing grew out of his body to look like emerald. Earth mover, what is this? Oh, it's like the eyes of the demons from that anime that's not finished coming out yet. Yeah, if one of you wants you can make like a nature check. Done and done. My nature's a plus five. That's a sixteen. <laughs> yeah, so with the sixteen, you realize that this is just straight up part of the creature's anatomy. It's not an actual gemstone, but it could still be valuable and looks like a giant emerald. Hmm. <laughs> Deception and or selling it to an apothecary. Nice. Can we also grab the eye? You just want to cut out the- yeah, go ahead and make like a medicine check to perform surgery. <laughs> 14 plus... Do I have any... I don't have a proficiency in medicine, well, but I think I have a plus one. Yeah, so, plus one. Oh, right. Uh, is right, Andreas? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, with a 15 overall, you know, you're able to get most of the eye out, but it's not a fully clean job. Like, you do ding it up a little bit. Dang it. Load his body on. We're in the caravan. What, what next? Okay. So, yeah, I guess, you know, you guys are able to move throughout the day. Luckily, nothing bad happens. Awesome. Um... We got and, the eye, right? Yeah, and in the evening, you guys are able to, um, you know, set up camp, and Axel, he goes over to you and says, uh, well, thanks for uh, saving my life back there. It's literally our job. Think nothing of it. Uh, well, can't not think anything of it, but tell you what I'm going to do for you. You folks are right now headed to a town that I did not forget the name of. You just came from Silver Crown, and now you are going to the other major city of... Hey, Andreas. Do you remember what the city's name is? Sinkton. How did you... What? what? Do you only remember things when it lets you spite me? Yeah. 
Also, I was thinking that we came from Zington and we're going to Silver Crown, so it was a double level spite. <laughs> okay. Or at least internally. Anyway. It's okay. If it's any constellation, I don't remember the name of the country we're in. <laughs> Well, and if it's if it's any further constantly, uh, I almost said Faerun, which is the name. Uh, yeah, it's it's sad. My yeah. memory is sad. Anyway, he says to you, "Well, I'm gonna, I have, my company has got some close connections with High Duke Timothy, and I can put in the good word with you." Is it please? It please is the good word. That's, that's what I'm wondering. I, 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 I suppose I can say please be nice to them. That'd be much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, is, is that like a joke in, in, in Giants or something that I'm, that's not translating properly? or? <laughs> Probably. Okay. And you see him open his mouth to say something and then close it thinking better of it? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I, I I thanked him for it so I'm just going to go ahead and sit down if I wasn't already <laughs> yep but yeah and um what is Stitch doing I'm still in shock that it's not real emerald <laughs> It's been like ten hours. Several hours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> should I still be in shock? If you want to be, or just annoyed. That's definitely yes. a character choice. I risked my life for this. Anyway, Earthmover starts hearing voices in his head again. <sighs> Just one. Don't worry, it's the voice, voice of your favorite character. Billy? There, no, hang on, there's there's two now. I, I spite two characters now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Earthmover, this is Billy. Where'd you go after Thanatos? I just spoke to the lieutenant. I have a package for you. Hey, Billy. We're... I, my character would know the name of the, of the country we're in. Remember... <laughs> 25 words. Right, okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm at 12 words. And I'll uh, give you a hint that deep, that um, information might be your friend here. I mean, information might be my friend. No, I'm just being purposely vague. Oh, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, But he five, did say that he have a package, so you might want to tell him where to send it. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I know what the package is! I think. Maybe not. I don't know. It's Maria's severed head with a declaration of war. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> that would be quite the twist. So, the message is as follows. Hey Billy, came out on the moving towards Zinkton, hunting down two gems in the area, forward package ahead. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like enough. That sounds like few enough words. It definitely is. It's, I think it's like, what was it? 18? 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, you are, 12, 13, 13, you are advised to submit without 18. further delay, for if I bring my army to your lands, I will destroy your farms, slay your people, and raise your city. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that sounds like a nice person. What's that a quote from? Uh, that was a letter that Alexander the Great's father sent to the Spartans. And the Spartans <laughs> responded with, if. Okay. That sounds familiar now. And by the way, Sparta was one of the few areas that Alexander the Greek Great did not capture. Because I'm better. <laughs> or my, my lineage is better. <laughs> Okay. 
And so, yeah, the next few days are able to pass without incident. But now, you know, um, at the evening camps, the uh, company, it's a bit more friendly to you guys since you saved their lives. They're lauding you as heroes. Amazing. I am, Amazing! I am rejecting literally all of their claims. I would not have helped them for as long as I did if I was not being paid to do so. Ah, oh, you see this? He's incredibly humble. No, I'm incredibly honest. I'm surprised you're not as insulted as people usually are at this kind of statement. <laughs> they all look surprised at that. But after what they've seen from you, none of them want to try to contradict you. <laughs> and Zoe tells you one night that she says, you know, got to admit, after uh, the way you guys almost handed the vampire um, Al and then killed Al and then almost let the vampire escape, I, I was questioning you, but if the past few days have taught me anything, it's that you're good adventurers. And that I'm going to be leaving. <laughs> I respect the, the honor-bound commitment of being paid to do a task. Yeah. I, I, I think that just makes me a bureaucrat. Mm -hmm. Or at the very least, a capitalist. What kind of rush am I? <laughs> and you know, I actually am curious about how Thitch and Earthmover feel in character about everything that's been going on over like the past few weeks at most. It's not been all that long. Nope. Wherein we've... Li we We've shifted planes twice. <sighs> Gained... Yeah, no, it's been wild. We took a... We took a breather, though. We took a breather. We got a, a tiny bit of pocket change. And how does... Such feel about this trip, yeah. Or the whole adventure. this is the adventure, the whole adventure. Yeah, this is me kind of. Um, yeah, let's do a um, let's do a download. A download. Yeah, just checking in on how you guys feel. Boop beep boop boop boop. Two does not equal five. <laughs> Sorry, the packet right here on, on campus is like point four megabits per second. It's gonna take a while. Um, it's been weird, but I realized that I do love doing things. <laughs> Sorry. Um, because, like, this would have been, like, my second different type of adventure for me. Because I've already been a pirate. Or, well, no, let's not go with I'm a sailor. I'm definitely just a sailor. Oh. So, adventures on the not so high, not very seas. Yes. Adventures right. not on the seas. This is my first adventure on land. So, it's definitely been good. At first, I was a businessman, and now I'm a fighter. <laughs> I mean, Earth Movers set out to improve. <laughs> and he's definitely been doing that. So. I'm surprised they haven't done any more business ventures. We should probably focus on that again. Yeah, when we go back, we definitely need to go try and collect some profits from that because uh, I am hurting from what investing, what, 200 gold? Oh, yeah! We would have been. And me, I did like a hundred, or how much did I do? You did a hundred. I, I intentionally bested you. Oh, right. Out of spite.
I'm pretty sure they're doing well from that 300 gold. I should hope so. I, I don't remember if Maria invested as well. But, yeah, no, I, I would like to go collect on that. Because our pockets are... Oh, the right. dragon! We should probably check up on the dragon, too. Yep. Yeah. Wait, does the dragon know anything about this? About what's yeah. going on in the world? The, oh, that's a good question. The dragon might have useful information, because dragon is a powerful being. The thing that's coming from a another plane is a powerful, you know, significantly more powerful being. Maybe not. Maybe the dragon's not the person to ask. It's worth asking, but yeah. I don't know if it's going to be all that lucrative. Let's focus on getting the gems wise. still. Yeah. We're going to get these gems. We're going to go home. I'm going to start my bar alcohol business. I think we need to like fend off that great evil or join its side first. Yeah. Tough decisions. But no, I mean Earthmover is definitely doing what he set out to do. It's a little bit more dangerous than he anticipated because he initially just wanted to go to school. But, you know, that's fine. Practical, practical application is, in many ways, more rewarding. That's uh, that's at least for Earthmovers at. Okay. Also, can we take a long rest? <laughs> yes, yes. You guys are able to long rest as you move along the roads, day at a time. Then, after yeah. a few more days, you begin to see the city come into view. So this is, you know, a slightly smaller city than the one you left, but it's still pretty sizable. It's a port town. Yep. And I guess you know you're beginning to smell that ocean air come in over the strong winds. This reminds Hoorah. me of my first adventure. Yeah. And Axel, he guides them, he guides the caravan into a sort of a stable system on the outskirts of town. Where they meet with okay. some other people from the, where they meet with, you know, the official people from the Travelers, Miners, and Drives Company. You guys are returned at the cost of your, um, safety deposit. Which was again? Andreas wrote that down, right? I just don't think I ever subtracted the safety deposit and only subtracted the end cost. Because I knew we'd get it back because I didn't anticipate dying. Yeah, but what if the horses died or something? That's what the safety was Well, they didn't. <laughs> anyway, My action well, was justified. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, we can figure that out later. Yeah. Yeah, so Axel says that he's got some official business to attend to in town, but he'll see what he can do about talking to the Duke. Okay. And so, what do you guys want to do in town? Um, uh, we need to go at some point talk to the port people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Figure out when the ferry schedule is. How many? How much time do we have on our schedule? You were told that you have at most a year before the um, Dark Force is released, and it's probably been about 15 days. Oh, I'm going to go find the mail office. Okay. Yes, you should probably do that. So I want to see if Billy forwarded the thing here. 
Okay, so yeah, after some searching around in town, and you know, it's that same thing where people are giving you weird looks, but they're able to approach oh. you eventually towards the um, Royal Post Office, towards the center of town. Cool. And you guys are able to see the um, Duke's Castle from here. It's actually not a far walk. Awesome. Oh, we should, get we ourselves should probably go talk to him. But yeah, mail. Is there anything for an earth mover? So yeah, you just walk in. So, like, you got anything for me? <laughs> hey, Darcy, <laughs> did my package come in? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I assume there's a line because it's a post office. Yeah, there is a long line, but when the three of you walk in. A very official-looking attendant who's wearing like a, you know, like a medieval-style suit, approaches you and says, "Perchance, are are you the one known as Shantae? Are you Shantae?" Yes, I am Shantae. Oh, Shantae. Is that how it's pronounced? So then, this must be um, Fitch and Zoe. Yes. 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 W w would the three of you please come with me? Sure. And he leads you into okay. the back room where there's uh, two um, members of the Royal Guard. Oh, no. Hello. This is, a, this is either a commendation or a con condemnation. And an older woman who introduces herself as the uh, manager of the post office. Hello? Yes. Um, so, we very recently received an urgently sent package from the Galean government with instructions okay. that it be given to the three of you. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. I presume that you are... The, and you meet, meet the description perfectly of the image we were given. A really tall gray guy? <laughs> and a small... A short one... <laughs> You <laughs> about the woman. And then she actually hands you what appears to be a hand-drawn sketch of the three of you near a campfire. Oh. And it's signed by Billy Queen. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this what? Yes, we understand oh. that you were previously traveling with the renowned bard. Yes. Off and on. It's uh, what's the quality of the sketch? How good is it? Um, you know, it's actually reasonable quality. Like you can definitely see that it's supposed to be you. Okay. It's impressively rendered. I thought his uh, talents extended only to music. I can see that's not the case. I hand it back. Yes. So then, about the package? Yes, and she takes out what appears to be actually a reasonably sized box and hands you a letter. I go ahead and open the letter. I, I presume it hasn't been opened. Uh, no. It's still sealed. Um, what, do I recognize the crest of the seal? Okay, so you actually notice that it seems to be the official seal of Galay. Okay, so it's head government, not just that city. Yes. Oh, good. Which, uh, by I the way, that and... official seal, it's uh, two shields. One of them appears to be darker, the other one lighter, and then there's a... with sort of like a... Um... How'd they manage that in a, in a, ink se a wax seal? Oh, right. I guess you want to be able to tell the color difference in a wax seal, but you've probably seen the official insignia before. Yeah. Yeah, so then this one's just, you know, the image of the two shields with a sword in the middle. Okay. And with the um, word Galay printed at the bottom. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and pop it open and read the letter aloud to everybody. 
This letter is in recognition to the Stone Mover Adventuring Company and their service to Galay. Over the course of less than a year, they toppled the criminal syndicate known as the Puppy Chow Gang, have seen to the rebuilding of Minult Town, rediscovered a lost dwarven treasure hold, and defended the city of Feral from zombie invasion. The Goliath alchemist known as Shantai Earthmover Lif Moriana and the halfling monk known as Thitch Urso shall receive the Imperial Gold Medals of Voluntary Valor, and their associate Zoe Sky Orchid shall receive the Silver Medal of Courage for her part in the Undead Battle for Feral. Those medals, along with gold payment, are enclosed here. And it's signed by Elizabeth Rutung, High Sheriff of Galay. Well, I fold the letter back up and put it back in the envelope. High lords, indeed. And then there's the box, of course. Yeah. I, uh... I'll let Fitch open the box. Okay. Are you afraid of it? No, I, I'll just... I opened the letter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll open the box then. Yeah, so in the box, there's the three medals as promised, and... Um... What appears to be, um, sorry, forgot out of math for a second. What? Yeah, and then enclosed, there's also uh, six fifty gold banknotes. Okay. Is gold the same between countries? I mean, I'm... international exchange rate. Sorry, not six, twelve. <laughs> Somehow I derived at that number my first time calculating, but it felt wrong, so that's why I said that I forgot how to math. Yes, it's twelve fifty-pound banknotes. So six hundred gold. gold. Yeah. So two hundred gold per person. So I'll take my. A well, lot remember of gold. your your contract with uh, Zoe only promised her twenty percent of the gold. Oh yeah. I was going to split it evenly. No. So, 0.2 times 600 is 120, which is not going to be easy to split out. Also, she wasn't with us for most of this gold, but we're not going to split those hairs. Yeah. It was awarded while she was part of the party. She got an award as part of the thing. She's getting 20% of that gold from this share. Uh, is there a bank that we can get these cashed in on? Oh, yes, yes. The Royal Bank's not far from here. Okay. So, we can go cash those in. What was the name of the medal? It's a gold medal of voluntary valor. Um, yes, the Imperial Gold Medal of Voluntary Valor. Voluntary Valor. Basically, that's the highest honor that can be bestowed on a non-soldier. Huh. So, what's the highest one they can bestow upon a, a actual member of their military? The platinum one for involuntary valor? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it just be called valor because they don't want to put it as involuntary valor? <laughs> as uh, as contractual of contractual valor. Yeah. Medal of Honor, Knighthood. It says here you can ah. hold your breath for 30 seconds. Not very important. <laughs> oh, you speak Spanish? I am trilingual. And I can hold my breath for two minutes, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Is that from a movie? Yeah, that's from Despicable Me. Oh. But yeah, if you want the yeah, and the soldiers volunteer to escort you to the bank. Cool. Since you have a huge a royal gold payout. Escort. Hi ho, hi ho. And this time it's they don't make you wait in the good. line. Oh, no, we just, we there's just actually like right a closed that. teller station. It's like there's you know five good teller stations. Four of them are closed right now, so there's a giant line behind one. But then once they see you there. 
like uh, uh, someone goes behind at one of the other stations and says, "Uh, yes, you in the back." <laughs> We're special. What, what what are they gonna do? Argue with the three people with swords and the giant guy? Oh, three people with swords. Yeah. I have. Zoe has. A oh, sword. I don't. I actually don't have a sword. Yeah, the guy with a bone club strapped to his back. That's that's honestly more terrifying. The huge guy with a bone club, the three people with swords, and the the smaller one that looks ready for a fight at all times. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, he's probably like a... the most terrifying because this doesn't seem to be a paid escort for him. He seems to just be part of this group. So the question is, wait, what does he do? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. How does he get the respect in this area? Yeah, the, the one the one that looks the least terrifying in a group of terrifying people is the one to be the most terrified of. <laughs> Andreas quote. Ah, uh, yes. And thankfully it's recorded. Ah, uh, yes. Um, well, it seems as if the three of you are getting the royal treatment today, so how can we help you? We'd like to cash these in for coin so that we can more adequately split them up between our group. Ah, yes, Galan Gold Notes. Well, you should know that we only honor 10% of this. <laughs> that was a joke. I look at the guard. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I, I, I want to say in character that my hand twitched on the counter. <laughs> like, like, like I had taken the notes and put them down on the on the counter and they were like under the my fingertips. When, when she's my my hand just twitched, like my whole arm just kind of like vibrated. Yeah, we'll just say that she goes like ghost white when this happens, and she's like, <laughs> okay, "That was a joke." That was a joke. <laughs> and would you? Are you interested in becoming members with this bank? What would that entail exactly? Well, you could save your money here in case you ever need to make a withdrawal, and it can earn interest. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's a different bank. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> My instant thought was, no, we're already doing that in the Goblin Run town back in LA. Thank you, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that actually does kind of sound weird because. <laughs> First oh. of all, a goblin run town in Galay. Second of all, why are you investing your money in goblins? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not really racist, but they're unionized, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, they're unionized. Does that make it better? <laughs> I, I, I honestly think it makes it stranger at the very least. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna look the Fitch. Do we do? We're not going to be in this country for all that. Long. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be here for very long. It's just a one-time deal because of that. You well, know, we, we will be back, but I don't think it's going to accrue any useful interest in the time that we go to the neighboring country and come. Yeah. Back. Well, having like an official bank account for the party can be useful. That's true. That'd I probably be better, be better at that Goblin go City. <laughs> Or do you guys want to wait till the next time you stumble across a sigil wheel in? Oh, are they like? A, a, do they have a bank? I mean, yeah, they probably offer some kind of banking services. Then that might be the way to do it because they're very universal. Yeah. Unless there's an international chain bank that isn't the royal bank. There country. is the international bank of the high of the order of the high hat. They sound fishy. They sound like a scam. <laughs> oh, come on. If they were a scam, would Hold the Mayonnaise the 50th have been a member? Yes. What, next you're going to say that that name was a gag as well? It absolutely was. Uh, but yes, uh, how would you like that payout then? Would you like this in other banknotes or um, copper pieces or platinum or... <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is he dying? <laughs> yes, I would like 60,000 copper pieces. <laughs> oh my! That's why you're dying. <laughs> uh, in gold pieces, pieces, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, yes. 
This is going to take a little bit, though. Of course. Mm -hmm. 600 is a kind of ridiculous number to pay out in gold pieces. Yeah, so she goes into a back room, and you hear someone just give, like, an incredulous shout. <laughs> Wait, what? 600? <laughs> Why do you need me to authorize a payout of 600 gold pieces? <laughs> They're there with royal guards, just do it! What? The Duke was just in here yesterday! Don't you think I'm just making another order? Not the Duke! It's three random people and one of them's really big! Are we being robbed? Uh, no, probably not. I don't, I don't know, know. Those notes At this point, I would hope it'd be, we'd be robbed! Did you check the notes to see if they were fraudulent? I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so big. Yeah, so she comes but out. Look with at a, them. Yeah, she comes out with a uh, with a uh, another man who is looking very confused and says, "I'm just going to need to take a closer look at these notes." By all means, they came straight from the Galean government, along with these, and I pull out my medal. <laughs> where did you get a Where did you get a medal of valor? From Galay, <laughs> they sent it here because we came through Thanatos. Without telling them that we were, they the won't. Um, they, I don't think they would want to to know that. <laughs> and then he I'm begins to that. look really closely at the metal. Hmm. I don't know. Something's kind of fishy here. <laughs> I, I look mean, at her. I'm it, like, it is what? a port town. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Sort of. They. I guess they're confused. Of how in the world are we getting? Why? Why here? <laughs> How do we know that you didn't just take this gold off of whoever you got the medals from? Ask the guards. I'm gonna look at the guard. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of gesture at the guard. You might want to show him the letter. Oh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll put the letter on the counter as well. I'll take it out and put it on the counter facing him. So, 600? 600. <laughs> yeah. Shows him everything but the documentation. <laughs> What a fool. <laughs> Where did you get a Medal of Valor? <laughs> From Galay. Same place I got the notes. I just said. Did you steal from them? <laughs> you John. mug someone for 650 <laughs> notes and it's like... <laughs> Okay, so after a while, though, he does come out with... Okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out... How much is 50. Okay, they each weigh 32 ounces, so... God, that's a lot of gold. Sorry, point thirty-two yeah. ounces. Point thirty-two ounces. It's still... Can I carry this? So yeah, that's 12 pounds of gold in a giant burlap sack. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's not all that heavy as far as objects go, but that's a ton of gold. Not literally. Yeah, yeah, metaphorically. Yeah, so he just plops that down on the counter and says, Will that be all? Yes, thank you so much. I think he's weeping at this point because all the gold is probably out of the bank. <laughs> the the you... bank is just absolutely pissing blood right now. <laughs> Would you like to become a member while you're here? Uh, well, we're not, not really. going to be in the country for too long, so we're going <laughs> to... Would you like to use this opportunity to purchase any land? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't have to pay taxes. <laughs> I've heard about those. They sound terrible. Okay, anything else we can do for you? Uh, no, I think that'll be all. Thank you, though. <laughs> you know, your money's probably safer with you than it is in a bank. <laughs> absolutely true. If we get mugged, we're just gonna laugh. Yeah, at least when you're while you're still in the city. I mean, when you're out yeah. like anywhere else facing eldritch horrors, you might not want twelve pounds of gold weighing you down. But 
True. My carrying capacity's fine. But yeah, you know what? Um, you guys want to do anything else this Mega season? Mega time. We need to split the money Wait, out. Can, should I just pour all the gold into my bag of holding? <laughs> uh, do you guys want to no. get like a really fancy hotel room or something? I don't. Nah. No. I'm going to continue to live like a pauper. Oh, frick, this is annoying. So, Fitch and I get 240 gold each, and Maria gets, not Maria, Zoe gets 120. Two hundred and forty gold richer. You know, uh, you I'm could get a comfortable in stay with this much money through the end of the world. <laughs> For the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah. Too bad, holy water. I feel like I have a chest. What the heck is Fey God? Oh, yeah, you have a prayer book. Huh. Yeah, I it would only cost 292 so. gold to rent out a uh, comfortable hotel room for an entire year. <laughs> Jeez. Not counting the cost of food. But by the sound of it, you're just doing this um, transaction right here in the bank. Just splitting mm -hmm. your money. Yeah. Do I really not own a chest? No. That's so sad. Why would you just be looking around at chest with you? I don't know. It's part of the freaking priest kit. Not that I had that, but like... I feel like I would have picked up a little chest at some point. So yeah, that's four... Yeah, so then that's 240 gold for each of you, and then 120 for Zoe. Yeah. So much money. That is so much money. I'm going to see if I can't find an item shop. Like a, a general goods and then an arcanes. Or maybe just buy a boat. <laughs> I mean, we already have art. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have to pay ferries. We would also have to, like, learn how to sail a boat. I don't... I, I'm a sailor! You cannot stay up 24 hours the entire way to the other country. I can teach you guys, can't I? Like, the we, basics, right? We, we have time. <laughs> if we get a sailing skiff that's basically large enough to take us plus our cart planning for the future here. What page are those on? That honestly wouldn't be a terrible plan. Oh. Well, you don't have enough money to buy any of these boats outright, aside from the rowboat. Well, then. Never mind. <laughs> well, I mean... Let's see now. It looks like the cheapest of the larger boats is the keel boat. That's 3,000 gold. Jeez. How big is the keel boat again? Uh, Google time. Yeah, that's not a very big boat. Is it 80? Are you kidding me? We don't need anything much longer than, like, 20. Single mast. Okay. Um. Feels like it would probably be more expensive to build a ship. Yeah, that sounds correct. 
But, you know, there's probably all varieties of ships out of the dock if you guys wanted to buy or rent one. Well, that's what I was saying, like, in, in terms of trying to go find one to buy. But it might not be too expensive to basically just hire a keelboat with the um, skipper. Mm. And a small crew. Yeah. Like a small crew with a boat. Rather than waiting for... Well, no, I imagine ferries between these countries aren't uncommon. Well, remember, in order to get to the Water Temple, you know that it's somewhere... Oh, that's right. ...in between the two. So you would basically just yeah. need to get on a boat and sail around for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, and, um, ship workers count as skilled hirelings. Okay. I mean, so normal ship's passage is one silver per mile, but I think that that's more just, like, you know, on predetermined routes, not just to mm -hmm. rent someone's boat for a couple weeks and just sail around anywhere. Yeah. So, what would be the best way to adjudicate? How much gold do you guys now have total? I have 280-something, 8. And how much does Thitch have? Uh, how much, was it plus 200, or no, 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 600? Plus 240. 240. Yep. So then, now I'm with... 241. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, no, that is gone. I was looking to see if I still had a Thitch, Thitch owes me, but I don't. 241 plus... 240 plus... Uh, 60, 301 okay. and 5 silver. As of January 10th, 2021. So should I update that to uh, the current date? So that's just shy of 900, right? Between the two of you? I'm gonna that put, would be, yeah. I'm going to put plus 240 from rewards. Yeah, that's yeah, just shy of 600. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant to say, 600, not 900. So yeah, I feel like you guys could probably get like a Could you get a moderate boat for 500 somewhere like something definitely bigger than a rowboat Because it doesn't need to go across the oceans or anything just in between the two coasts Right True So Andreas, you know a lot about boats, right? Absolutely not one of the few holes in my general knowledge bank. That's not true. It's one of the many holes in my general knowledge bank, but it's one of the large ones. I don't even know how to sail. That's so sad. I go to a school with a sailing team. Quite I think 
No, wait, schooners are really big. Let's get a galleon. Because that's absolutely necessary for what we're doing. How about an, yeah, the most expensive ship. I can hear you breaking glass in Minecraft, Chris. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You messed up the dome? I'm Yeah, I kind of messed up the <laughs> dome. I'm trying to get it to exact, but then apparently one of the edges is off by one. Okay, you know what? This seems like a good enough point to wrap up for tonight, and maybe next time you can talk to the Duke and he might be able to get you some discounted... Ship prices. Yep. Hey, Duke. Uh, we're trying to save the world from a great evil, and we need to hire a ship to sail around randomly in the middle of the ocean. Think you could help us with that? Ten galleons! <laughs> Ten galleons! Anyway, I've been your host and Dungeon Master, Drew, and I'm being joined by... Earthmover? And... Fish. Oh my god.